This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their Computer Science Principles course. Let's see what we're doing. Variable Reassignment Part 1. Ah, yeah. So far we have set variables value once, but it's called a variable for a reason. Its value can change or vary throughout a program. This is useful and necessary for keeping track of things like score in a game or lives or health or if a smoke detector has gone off, a billion things. To reassign a value to a variable, all you have to do is maintain the mental model of what's happening. So they're making this sound scary. Don't be scared. Variables are containers for information. Yeah, they're names for information. The equal sign is an instruction to set the value. Yep, it's saying, hey, this is now named whatever, A, Bob, score, whatever we want to name it. A series of assignment statements, that's what these bars are right here, uh, Oh, well, actually, these, well, yeah, that's a definition and an assignment. We'll get into that. A list is a list of instructions to execute one at a time. It's not a series of equations that define this state of the world. Okay, do this. Make a prediction. The code on the following screen looks like what is shown on the right, at the right. S study it and make a prediction about what will happen when the code is run. What will the value of A be? Uh, and B at the end of the program. Oh, this is tricky. If you're one of my students, I use this as a warm up question in our class. You are welcome. And it's on the exit ticket. Hint. Um, all right. Var A is equal to three. Var B is equal to seven. Hmm. So if var B is equal to seven. Okay. So got it. Now what happens here? Well, A is now equal to B. That does not mean A is equal to the letter B. The computer sees B and says, what the heck is B? Uh, boom. Oh, here it is. Oh, B7. So A is equal to 7. Got it. A is 7 now. Okay. Now we get down here and it says, okay, B has a new value. What's its new value? It's A. What the heck is A? Oh, here it was. Here we changed A to 7. So A is 7. So B is still 7. Okay. Add a council log statement. Prove it to yourself by adding console log statements at the end of the program to find out what the values of A and B are. We're going to do the one better, okay? Because I do want to know here, I'm going to hit tab twice and it will add that line. I do want to know here what A is, okay? And I'm going to put A in quotes at first and a space plus A just so I know what it is, right? So I could write first as well so I know this is A's number right and then I'm going to do a council log down here for I am B you don't have to write that part I just want to make sure I'm clear on which is which right but I also want to show you up here I'm just going to do a command C or a copy uh, a above just so I know which one it is right what's a equal to right here I want to show you so Let's hit run. Oh, it's slow. There we are. A above is seven. Yeah, so right here, it grabs B's value and slaps it into A. So A is equal to seven. Council log first, which was A, A is equal to seven still, and B is gonna be equal to seven. And if all that text stuff's confusing, I can get rid of it and just have at the bottom here, the B value and the A value. And run again. But ah, uh, awesome. Let's keep going. 